Welcome back to Inquisitive Kids. In this video, we will be continuing the things that we learned from the previous video to help us solve some simple permutations word problem. So to review, we write permutations out in the form of P and R. N means the total number of things that we're taking out of, and R is the amount of things that we are taking out. When solving permutations word problems, the two most important values that you need to identify before solving a problem is the n and the r. What is the total amount of objects and what is the number of objects that you're trying to take out of that total? So let's look at our first problem. How many unique three-digit codes can be created from the five digits one through five? So here, let's identify the total amount. What is the n here? Well, we are selecting three things out of five things. Well, the things here being the digit. So three digits out of five digits. The total would be five, and the, things we, the, and the amount we are taking out is three. So we would set up the problem as P53. Do you still remember the permutations formula from the previous video? Well, if you haven't, you should probably memorize it. Just to review, the formula is n factorial over the factorial of the difference of n and r, so n minus r factorial. In this case, we would substitute in n and r with the values 5 and 3 to give us 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial. So 5 factorial, we can expand it out and write it as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1. Top and the bottom can cancel out, and 5 times 4 times 3 is equal to 60. So 60 three-digit codes can be created from the five digits 1 through 5. This is our first answer, 60 codes. All right, let's look at our next problem. How many four-digit even numbers can be made from the digits 0, 1, 2, and 3? Let's set up this problem like this. There are four digits, so I'm writing out four lines. We know that we can only choose from the digits 0, 1, 2, and 3, and that it must be an even number. So beneath each of these lines, let's write out the positive the possible digits that can go into that blank. Let's start with the first one. The first one, the possibilities are 1, 2, and 3. Why not 0, you say? Because the leading digit of any number cannot be 0, or else it will not be a four-digit number. Because it said that it must be an even number, which means that it must either end in 0 or 2. Now we can do anything for the middle two blanks. We could do 0, 1, 2, 3, or 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, how many different possibilities are there? Well, we know for the first blank, there are three different possibilities. For the second blank, there are four different possibilities to choose from. The third one, there are also four different digits you can choose from. And for the final one, you have two different possibilities to choose from. So by multiplying all of these together, we have 5 times 16, which is 80. 80, our answer is 80. 80 four-digit even numbers can be made from the digits 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching Three Inquisitive Kids. Please subscribe if you're interested in solving more problems like this with the upcoming videos and you'll be notified once you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this channel. We'll see you next time.